Regal. We got um, big title. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I did. I did apologize. I did say sorry. It was an accident. That wasn't on purpose. You know. So <laughs> my first choice is what the heck? Follow this uh, tanker wherever they're going. And it seemed like they knew where they were going, so I thought I'd follow and add my gun to the fight if I can. And I hit the building, the building doesn't destroy how to go around. And I think that was the tank I was tanker I was following and I said, eh, not sure. At this point I think I start checking my mini map and I'm looking for uh, alleys and uh, good viewpoints and stuff like that. That's when you put your there we go. We started um, hitting this one little spot right here. Instead of pushing up in there, I thought I'd sit back and I'd uh, just shoot from a distance off instead of being a hero and finding myself eating some more because the tank was on fire and someone brought marshmallows this time. Yeah, somebody actually brought marshmallows. We got graham crackers and a chocolate bar. And yeah, you can cook up the marshmallows, you put it on the chocolate bar in between the grand crack and you got it some more. Something to do while you're waiting for the for them to come pick you up, come pick up your tank, take it back, fix it, repair it, and send you back out again. That costs money. And sometimes depending on what you're doing, if you're using a highly premium tank and you don't score a lot of you can lose money. I've lost silver doing that. But this is not a premium tank. This is a tank that I worked up the tier on. It's, I like it. It's a neat little tank. It's quick. It's fast. It can climb a hill pretty good. Um, it's got a halfway decent gun. Nothing that I put up against heavies or anything like that. But it's quick enough to get in behind them. You can do that. Try and chase me if you can, but I'll get some shots into your backside if you're not paying attention. That's what lights and mediums do to heavies. Kind of what a destroyer does to a battleship. <laughs> kind of same principle. Different speeds. They're like the battleships and the ones at sea, you're always moving. You don't stop because if you stop, you're dead in the water. Um, tanks, you can find a spot. You can kind of sit back and just relax and wait for something to come into sight. Then shoot it if you like. And me, at this point, I should say, at this point, Jesse, Je Jazzy Jazz, Jesse drives the M50. She doesn't drive it. She's the tank commander of the M50. Jazzy Jazz is the tank commander here. And she's doing an awesome job, see? Following the, following the team, adding to the firepower. So instead of one gun, you got three or four guns shooting the same target. They don't last long. I know, I've had it happen quite a few times. Ooh, I like that pinch up. Kinda neat. Huh? See, that's why I like doing this without that. Look, watch his driving skills. Oh, her driving is just, uh, her driver is just awesome. Did you see that? Up and around that tank. Didn't even scratch the paint. Sorry, Sergeant Bones. You don't have to paint tonight. At least not this tank yet. Uh, we're not done. She's still looking for trouble. Well, there's none here. Let's see. Uh, oop, the tree was in the way. Get it out of our way. The problem with that, though, there's someone sitting around here and they see the trees falling. They know that you're in the area if you haven't spotted you yet. So. It needs to knock them down, but at the same time, it gives away your position if you're trying to hide. And here we're just kind of hide and seek. We're looking for the other team. There's like three or four of them left. And so. We got them outnumbered at the moment. You notice I didn't jump on the cap because I didn't want them to know where I was. In a minute, and there's, we can eliminate them all. We got plenty of time, so there's no reason to try and capture. And um, hear the siren? That means they're at our base. They're, okay. And then I, I put up the message, defend the base. And here we go, making a run for it. Make it exciting. We need some decent music here. Make this kind of, 
What I can do is I'll take this in the chip uh, clip champ, and there's some music in there. I might be able to some sinister music. As we're, oh, here we go. There they are. There's there's one sitting on our cap, and the, the, our gun, we're bringing our guns to bear. All right. There's two of them here. Okay, so we're gonna kind of work on them both. We got enough guys, and people here. Shoot. See, it, like he, it's hard for them to get the turrets around. See, <laughs> they're sitting in the middle. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, right? But the, ship, the fish are shooting back. Hey, PSC Institute. Uh, that's their motto. Like shooting fish in the barrel, where the, where the fish shoot back. Pray survival training. That was pretty cool. Okay, well done, Jazzy Jazz. Hey, we're off to start another fight, looking for more trouble. I thought this was part of the same clip, but this is a different battle altogether. From I noticed it's got a different paint job. It started out at a different spot, so I I grabbed this one and threw this one. I'm not really sure how this one turned out. We'll have to find out together. Oh, go get him, Chris. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the actual battle. That I see, it's got all the HUD and stuff up there, and with the HUD, and with that, it gives you what you're you know, when you when you get your hits, your damage, and you're doing your spotting and taking a, a tank out and stuff. It'll give you the ribbons and stuff how you're doing up here on the right up in the corner and well that when the HUD's not up or that one uh, way of reviewing it doesn't put that up there so you really don't see what the tank and what the TC is doing see right there that one that little ribbon there that was the spotting ribbon I do believe and that's what that's what the scouts are for. That's what this little medium can do. I, you can move up into areas, and it's pretty quick. So you can get in, check something out. And then if you need to, you can pull back, pull out, and get into another fight somewhere else on the map. It's fast enough to get around like that. So it's a it's a good little tank. I like it. It's fun to it's fun to drive. It's fun to operate. It's. It's not the best one on the battlefield, but then again, if you know what you're doing, you can do... See, I'm taking a lot of shots from them. See, off there to the right. So I'm trying to get out of there. I don't have much life left on this one. So, run and hide, run and hide. So I gotta duck into the bushes. Oh, oh there, there. Nope, didn't make it. <laughs> Alright, I think I got narration on these other clips, so I might leave it at that. And uh, this is this is the original one. This is the the one I was just showing before, but this has a part of the HUD up and gives you an idea what I was doing with the tank at this battle. I like this. <laughs> I I like the way this battle ends. <laughs> and it's not just because of what I've done. It's what we what we did as a team. I let. I'll let it go. We'll talk to you later. later. Shot my gun, and I was. It didn't hit him, but it came close. <laughs> it hit the, that hill in front of him. So. And what I was doing, I decided to follow him, or because I didn't know, I didn't know where to go. See, like I said, a lot of these maps are new. I'm not sure of them. I don't know where the best place to go and hide at or sit at. So I thought I followed the crew out. I followed that tanker to this point here and oh look there's a spot where the, they keep poking their noses out at and um here, see we're shooting that one out there Come on. a little too far but that's what I'm trying to do right there oh I decided because I, I noticed I looked at the mini map and I noticed I was sitting there by myself so I said oh 
I looked in to see where my my crew was at. I, I followed him. So I'm putting my gun in my tank in with the crowd. It's supposed to be not out by itself. You know, sticking in the bushes, hiding, hiding, sneak, poking out, just taking a couple shots. Ooh, nice. Ouch. Hey. Sorry. See right there, great shot. See, I'm following what these, what, these, what the team's doing so far. So far, I haven't made any um, shots yet. I haven't hit nothing. 10-4, Roger. Affirmative, affirmative. There it is. Affirmative. Go get him, Jazzy Jazz. Wash your, tur wash your tracks off. Get all that grime and dirt off. Okay, now they're clean. Go ahead, go up the hill and see what you can help out with. Brought some uh, marshmallows and some grain crackers and a chocolate bar. Well, if we have to, we'll make some s'mores. Foreshadowing. We're coming up following, following the team. We're pushing in. Alright. <laughs> cool. It's not showing the kills, it's not showing my kills. It's not showing what I'm doing. Because I know I put some rounds into that guy. I just gotta stop saying that. Into that tanker. See there. I'm helping. But it's not showing what I'm doing up here on the right. That's alright. That's okay. You gotta clear the path for everybody behind us. Now watch this driving. Jazzy's got an excellent driver. Look at that. Never even scratched the paint. I think I said that in the last one, right? Right. This is going to be a long clip. We're going to have to do some some fast forward and we'll get the prairie dogs in here to do some commentary. Sound good? Sound good. <laughs> Ooh, got to clear the trees out. But like I was saying before, when you do that, if there's somebody, one of the teams sitting here, they see you knock the tree, they see the tree fall over. And if you don't show up in a mini map, it gives them a good indication where you're coming from. So it's fun to knock them down, but at the same time, it can give your position away. The same with busting up a house or if you hit, run over a car and it explodes, they might hear that. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. I don't remember this map too much. Then again, I haven't played that much in a while, so there's probably newer maps, redesigned maps, maps like my, mine's has totally been changed a little bit. It wasn't the same last time I was there. I, I grew up on mines. I, that's, you start learning on that map. A lot of tier one, two, and three map. There it is. Uh, this is where they're on the cap. See, you can see there. There's two of them, two out of three. So we're heading back to do some damage to these uh, intruders that are trying to take our our territory, and we're not going to let them. This is dangerous too. This is one way to get really beat up. Just busting in right here. Okay. Now here comes some fancy guy. Watch this. Boom. Right. See, I knew I hit him. It doesn't show up on the thing there. I'll have to use the original clip. Oh, I'm taking a little bit of damage. But see, they can't get their gun on me. I get in around them. I come in behind them. Get them in the back. Get them in the soft spot. Good Take shot. Take through. Nice All shot. Right. Script. It wasn't me clip. that shot. No, see, I got Cut. it. I slowed him down because he ran into me. Put it in the can Look at that. and on the That's shelf. That's what I'm talking about. Well Studio done. Good teamwork. And, and, and I did more Riz. than what Thank showing you for up watching. there. And I got a little bit following. In fact, I was fourth uh, on the list. Can we get the list, world of so, but that in We'll catch you later. We're going back to the garage. They didn't need the marshmallows. They didn't need a chocolate bar. They didn't need a... We can't make any s'mores until we get back to the shop. That's ready to be done. Uh, we also have transitions in now. Uh, go ahead and put in some music and we can post.